back, everybody. Rudy with Alpha Garbage Fire Investments. Uh, I, I value Rudy. I want your babies. Well, you can play with my taco any day. So, I think that battle is supposed to be love you. Love you. All right. So, today we're talking about a little collection buying. Little fun times here. So, um, we have. I want to kind of go over something a little fun. We got something really cool here. So, we got a small collection that's come in today. Um, it's nothing really big and crazy, but I'm going to kind of go over it. The first thing I usually tell everybody to do is to go online and, you know, make a list of everything, put the kind of the condition, the prices and everything. And, you know, Hey, you know, if someone's willing to offer you about $1,800, give me a buzz and, um, we'll set something up, set an appointment. And, um, this is how it goes. I want to show you guys. So Mr. Taylor has a small collection and I am going to buy it from him today and pretty much this is the method if you want to do this kind of stuff that you should kind of look for um, you know he was pretty accurate on everything he graded everything and kind of put everything pretty clear but not everybody's gonna be that way so the first thing you gotta look at when you deal with something like this is gonna be okay what are we dealing with here where's where's the if this guy wants 1800 which you know if I match and beat it if I'm gonna give him two grand where's the two grand coming from Obviously, right out of the gate here, the things that stand out the most are going to be you have three force will invocations, you have a regular force of will, you got a little spell pierce, I think that's what it's called, if you can actually read the card. And then, of course, oh, doesn't that look cool? Oh, look at that fire on that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, some heavy hitters, you know, the heavy hitters here, guys. We expeditions, four polluted, and four misties. And then we've got a lot of miscellaneous, kind of lower end cards to kind of just throw into it. You know, we got one little con fetch. And, of course, we do have one underground seat. So, condition is imperative. Condition is everything on this stuff, you all. That is the most important thing. If anybody wants to take anything away from this, that is the most important thing. God, look at the old foiling. Look how nice that old foiling. And, wow, it's not even warped. Oh, my God. Don't tell anybody. Don't you guys love that old foiling? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Okay. So that's where you run into problems. That's where a lot of people in stores can lose money, especially when I took this one out of the sleeves. I want to show you guys. For example, the, the price value difference on an authentic underground C is substantial. The, the, the swing in dollar amount is huge on condition. And, of course, if you buy a counterfeit one. Uh, this one is very clearly, I knew immediately, this is an authentic one. No issues on authenticity. But, again, we do have some surface damage. Can you get, I don't think you can see in the camera. Let me see if I can get a light or a glare with you guys so it has scratches and dents you can't see it sorry overall beautiful card great condition nothing major you got a little print dot action you got some surface dings in here and there but overall very very nice underground sea revised um, another thing just like these old ones these old intuitions all these old promos like impulse intuition i took this one out of the sleeve these are getting very pricey nowadays because the old fooling people I love the old style of these. I mean, they're gorgeous. Look at that. So the biggest thing you have to worry about on old foiling, if you're looking to do these grim monoliths and metal workers and these type of cards, is going to be the way the foiling ages. This old foiling wears really bad. So this is in fantastic condition. The condition of this card, I have no problem paying his asking price. The surface is beautiful. And if you look at it, there's no cloudiness. There's no actual from the foiling being scraped against other cards and shuffled. The foiling is fantastic. That's probably the card out of all of this I am most happy about is that. That is the card that just I am super excited to see. Uh, other little things, keep in mind, same thing. You, these, you got Dark Deaths. Pretty much when you deal with these two cards, the first thing that stands out to me is obviously the foiling is different because it's a From the Vault product foiling, which means a different type of card, different type of foiling. You know, it is nice, you know, people don't really counterfeit these type of cards. But the biggest thing I look out for is going to be the warping. These from the vault type of products, I mean, this one is not bad. Overall, I'm actually kind of surprised. For a, for a Dark Depths that's been out of the package and everything, it's in fantastic condition with very little warping. So both of these cards, which were from the vault... I don't know, God, I from the Volt lore, I don't know which from the Volt. You guys are going to kill me on that. So same thing. Both of them have very little warping. They're in great condition. There's no surface damage. Good to go. Same thing when you deal with, even if you deal with Emrakul. You know, this is uh, MM2015, I think. You know, I'm not going to take these out of the sleeves. not really that necessary, but I want to show you. 
Um, again, MM2015, the foiling held up really, really well. So if you guys take a look here, I guess I will take it out of the sleeve. Hey so if you look at the foiling, beautiful card. Look at that, gorgeous condition. And um, front and back, no surface damage, very clean card. So when you deal with this kind of stuff, that's the first thing you need to go through, is you gotta make sure condition is accurate and the cards are actually authentic. The little things when you deal with some little stuff, you know, foil brainstorms, these are eternal masters, and then you've got the conspiracy foil brainstorm, not much price difference, but be aware, if you're gonna buy these in groups, make sure you pay attention to the printing, because some cards have a huge price difference as far as printing. Even if it's the same art, the foil pricing can swing big time. You can overpay or underpay. So that's it for that. Like I said, then you got, of course, the little things add on. And of course, you get a customized, you know, this is just a, a, a steward of Rudy. Rudy, steward of tacos. And of course, you know, you can, you know, plus two earn. Was that flop or eat? Flop two tacos? Oh, no, no cost to eat a taco. <laughs> Buy out all the tacos. Appreciate it, Taylor. You're such, that's going on the wall. So, again, the other things, you know, non-foil force of will from the old Eternal. Nothing really crazy to look at. As long as there's no damage to the card, it's authentic, good to go. Little kind of bulk throw-in cards. Those are just kind of bonus cards I don't really put a lot of time into. It's not really something you need to worry about. Uh, invocation type cards, you know, you really don't need to worry about the counterfeiting type stuff. But you always need to check them because these type of cards can be damaged even if they're packed fresh. Now, as you can see in person, looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. Still not a super big fan, but it definitely doesn't look too bad. And um, condition-wise, I'm not saying it's definitely beautiful pack fresh. No real major issues on condition. And, of course, reflected in the light to look for surfaces or dents. Because all these cards can look nice, but if you hit an impact on the top of it or something scrapes it, you can dent into the foiling or into the card, and that can actually affect the value. And if you go to resell it online, you know, you can have a nice case against you where the buyer may want to return it because you didn't disclose it, or you're going to have to do, like, a compensation or some sort of settlement where you give back 10 or 20% of the price. And nobody really wants to go through that. So, uh, other thing, we'll swing back to the Expedition cards. So, in this collection here we're buying, you get a place set of Polluted Deltas, a place set of Misties. Looks like two Ancients. Um, I love Old School Ominescence. And some little stuff, some Cunning Wish. Looks like some promos there. Are all four of them DCI promos? Yeah, I think so. I reckon the artwork, I think they are. And then the Ponders, I took one out. Because right before I was filming, I wanted to point out the importance of checking everything. Because while they all look great and everything, this one, as you can see, look at the corner. So as you can see, the corner is completely bent. So that's where you can lose money as a store or someone buying and selling collections. Uh, you got a little bit of warping going on from M12 here. Not really too bad. There is a little bit. I've seen way worse on the newer products. Oh, my God. Do I actually have a, a warped card around here? Uh... See if I had, do I have a warped card? I had some really, really bad ones. Do I have any? Oh, yeah, here we go. Check it out. So I had this warped card. Check this out, you guys. Look at this. Look. Look at this card. Can you, I, I tried to warp it back. I don't think you can see it. I actually tried to bend it back. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. Sorry. The point is, I've seen some really, really way worse ones. So. That's about it. Like I said, that was, you got to look for the little things like that. But as far as these big boys, like when it comes to these original expeditions, these are still standing the test of time. They have to be the most beautiful original lottery expedition. I mean, these things are just, <laughs> the original ones are just so good, you guys. I, I, I'm so biased to them. They don't warp. They're flipping gorgeous. I mean, just the landscape artwork on that is just so incredible compared to the, even the, the, I mean, compared to these, I, I mean, I'm sorry. Those are just, the, it just, it just does it for me. So. Same thing with the Misties. Make sure you always flip through these. Take them out of the sleeve. Take a quick look at these things. Just make sure you don't have any hidden issues. I mean, besides the fact that... God, look at the birds. Oh, my God. It's been a while since I've looked at these. You know, they're beautiful. I don't see... Look at the surface. See how you reflect the surface? I don't see any dan dents or damage in that surface. Same thing with the back. Fantastic. So, I'm not going to have any problem. I'm going to go ahead and buy this collection. I want to share with you guys kind of what it's like, what I look for, and how I kind of scan through it. And, of course, I take a pen and everything, and I go through, and we go down the list and mark everything, make sure everything matches the price and everything that they were asking. So, since I like what I see, for example, I'm going to take the price, I'm going to add some money to it, and I'm going to pay the PayPal him $2,000. And that's the way it works. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, these little things, there's really, you know, I'm not really, I didn't even go through these. 
like I said, original, you know, con flooded strand. I mean, what are these? 15 bucks on eBay. You know, if you sell them online, you'll net maybe nine or 10. So these are very little. I mean, these are uncommon M14 pyros. Sorry, I totally forgot about these. You even got the probe. There's three foil pro. I think they're all the promo versions. Uh, promo, promo. Yeah, they're all promos. And even the cunning wish, like I said, God, I can't believe I almost ended the video. I totally forgot about these other ones. I don't even, I would have been really uh, pissed off. I didn't even get to show you guys. So these are very, very nice cards. And again, you got to look, see, now look at this. See the surface? Hold on. Let's try and get a, see if I can get you guys a surface view. So if you look at the surface, right there, you, you see the surface is not clean. You have, looks like some scraping and wear on the car. So these are definitely going to go into the light play category compared to a pack fresh kind of promo type thing. Very little warping, not enough. Got a little nick. I guess overall, definitely a light play card, not mint. But still, it's it's not that I don't want it. It's just, again, as long as you're aware of it, you can price high or low. You just want to be accurate on your buy and sell pricing. And But like when it comes to the little tiny stuff, there's really not much of a reason to overanalyze the little cards. Because, I mean, a foil pyroblast, I don't know what this is worth. I haven't looked it up, but if I had to take a guess, um, it's probably going to be a couple bucks. It's really nothing major. I think when Eternal Masters came out, weren't the foil hydro and pyros like 40, 50 bucks before they tanked? So anyways, I just want to bring that in. So Rudy Thalf Investments, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If anybody else has collections out there, you have similar things, you have old things. And by the way, none of this stuff is reserved list, nothing crazy. But again, you know, if you want to unload a collection, if you're looking for good deals and you want to have a video made out of it and all that fun stuff. And yeah, you guys uh, send me a private message and uh, send me an email and uh, tell me what you got. And uh, go ahead and put in a buy list if you want to use Star City or Troll and Toad or cool stuff. Put in a buy list and... Uh, Send me a copy of the buy list, and we'll make something happen. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me what you think. If I missed anything, call me out on it. If you guys kind of like seeing different collections that come come and go, yo, let me know. Other than that, you guys have a fantastic day, and may your taco always be floppy.